take a look, you know. We're down almost eight or ten inches right there. Yeah. When I see a hole like this, I think of two things. Number one, there was a tree that was here. Mm -hmm. They cut the tree off and left the stump behind. Right. Over time, that rots and everything just goes down. Okay. The other thing is sometimes they put in big rocks for a base. Yeah. And they leave a lot of space between the rocks. And these fines can wash down into the stone. And when they do, everything settles and that creates a hole. But the good news is we can fix this using a few simple tools from a home center. All right. That you ready sounds to go good. to work? Yeah. Let's go. Good. All right. The first thing I want to do is do a little excavation and see if we can find out what's causing the problem. So if you grab a shovel, let's start taking some of this loose material out and see what we have. Looks like we're starting to find some stuff. Here, look. A couple pieces of leather. Old rotten wood. Yeah, that's a lot of wood. Yeah. All right, take a look. This is what I'm finding. You look here, there's a metal strap that goes around in a circle. And the wood and the leather are almost attached to it. So that leads me to believe that there was an old wooden barrel embedded here. Okay. And I think they did it to act as a dry well, because if you look over here, there's a drain with holes in it where the water would have come in. And actually over here is a pipe. So it was a dry well for this area that got buried. It's rotted and settled down. So we got to dig out some more. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, grab your shovel. Okay. <laughs> Now, all the material we dug out, we're not going to use again. I want to make sure that this isn't going to settle. So what I'm going to use is what I usually use underneath a walk or a patio, and it's called pack. Okay. It's made up of stone dust and an aggregate stone, and this pack's hard as a rock, so this will never settle on us. All right. So the first thing I want to do is take some of the pack and push it into the pipe to fill it so nothing will leak out of here again. Okay. So just give me a shovel full right in front of the pipe. Okay, hold on for a second. I'm going in. Before we start putting any material in, I want to compact the bottom of that hole. So make sure, again, that nothing's going to settle. Okay. Okay, now just dump that right in the bottom. Good. Uh, if you hand me the shovel real quick, I'm going to spread it out so it's about an inch or so thick. The key to a good base is compaction. So I'm only putting in one bag at a time and compacting that down and then building up in lifts. All right, let me take a look. Two inches, perfect. Now what we're gonna use for our top coat is this coal patch asphalt repair. If you take a look at it, it's stone mixed with asphalt binder. We just pour it in the hole an inch and a half thick, compact it down to one inch and build up in layers like that. But before we do that, the manufacturer wants us to have a nice clean edge on the hole for this to marry up to. So what we have to do now is cut an edge. Okay. I'm using a wet saw with a diamond blade to make a clean cut. All right, we're all ready for our asphalt patch. I'm gonna dump it in the middle. Go ahead, spread it right out. Turn the shovel over the other way. This way? Yeah. Nice and even all the way through, okay? Okay. We can't do anything until it's nice and flat. There you go. All right, that's good. 
Now, would you believe the manufacturer says you can walk a drive across that right now? No. Go ahead. Okay. How's it feel? Pretty solid? Feels good. The only thing they want you to do is not make turns on it for three or four weeks till it really gets a chance to harden up. Okay. Now, next fall, you could seal coat this whole thing. This will blend right in. You'll never know there was a patch there.